so I'm from Gunditjmara, which is in Victoria, and then I'm from Tiwi Islands, which is just off the coast of Darwin. And, you know, they're similar, but they're diff really different at the same time. Like, even the way that we hunt and what we go hunting for, like at um, Framlingham, which is the Gunditjmara tribe, like we go eeling and stuff, just walking in the, on, in the water and stuff. And then on Tiwi Islands, we go in the mangroves and looking for mussels and stuff. So. I think I love it so much as well is that it's such a strong culture and it's the oldest living culture in the world like I don't know how I could not be proud of that like I'm a living and breathing person who's part of the oldest living culture in the world like I just that just shocks me every time I think about it. In the TV islands like they don't care they really do not care at all which is it's so good because like the, I'm just walking around in bare feet, like shorts, nothing. I don't care what I look like. And not just because they're my family, but because like no one cares. Like the old, the older ladies, most of the time they don't even wear a shirt. Like they just walk around the community just like, like letting loose and they just don't care. So I think it's, and um, like, you know, they won't, they don't shave their underarms. They don't like, they do not care what they look like. and. That's just who you are, embrace it, who cares, you know. You would always be seeing people's bodies and it's like, this is a body, like, it's just a body, it's more about the mind, like, you know, people's personalities and stuff that we should be caring about, not not how you look, not what your body shape is, not your face, anything. It's more like someone should be, people would judge, should be judged anyway by their personalities and, you know, their aspirations and all that, but not how they look um, physically. So yeah, I'm 16. I'm usually a really sporty girl and I have had, I've had an operation on my spine. That was like probably the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. So pretty much I had scoliosis and it was a, it's a curve in the spine. I found out actually, cause I pulled my shoulder and I had to get an x-ray for that. And the doctor picked up that I had a slight curve. I had to have another x-ray six months later and it came up with a 49 degree curve. And then three months later, I went again and it was 61 degree curve. So it was curving like 12 degrees every three months. And once it gets to 90 degrees, it starts to like, like crush your organs and gets life threatening. So I had that and then I was in hospital for about five days. So now my spine's completely straight and I have two titanium rods in my spine and 17 screws and pins. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty insane and like, the pins are really long. Like when I saw the picture, I was like, how do they even fit in like in my body? I pretty much had to learn to walk again. So I had to get like first day, I was just sitting up and getting back down, then learning how to get out of bed, walking a few steps. So it was, it was pretty intense from going to playing sport all the time. I used to play football and netball to like not being able to do that. And I couldn't play sport for a year. So I was 13, 14 at that time. And I was, you know, going pretty good with football. That I was made into the Vic team under 18s when I was only 13. Now they've got the um, women's footy, and so it's hard to see you know, the girls playing and thinking like, I could have done that, but now I can't. Growing up, especially like, in now, like these days, it's all like you see on the magazines and like on TV, all like skinny girls, you know, with this perfect shape. And I don't, I don't not have that perfect shape. I don't have like the skinniest waist and because I have that like the straight down shape it's like it's annoying because from front on I feel like I look big but I like everyone tells me I don't but I just feel that and like a lot of my friends are like fitting into size sixes and eights and I'm always a size 10 and like I should I'm I know I should be happy with that but it's just sometimes I'm like I wish I could I see a lot of people just wanting to be like that, you know, always trying to get the bigger bum, the skinnier waist at the same time. Like I used to always want that curve, you know, that perfect curve, but, and especially like growing up seeing that everywhere, it's like, and being like, yep, yeah, this is what the people wearing bikinis look like. It's like, it's pretty hard. Like when I was younger, I didn't want to, I was always wearing like shorts and a t-shirt to the pools and stuff. I was like, I feel like it's a lot to do with uh, media, like a lot to do with that. Like you see heaps of 
young people follow like Kim Kardashian and stuff and like her body it's like but most of the stuff that people have is not real like that's not how like you they actually are because technology is a massive thing with our generation it's like we're always constantly seeing that stuff you know it always pops up on Facebook on TVs whatever so it's sort of it's like almost like brainwashed everyone to think like that especially like likes on a photo it's nothing but it it's massive in social media you know some people feel like if they're in a photo like if they post a selfie or something and it doesn't get enough likes they feel like they're not they don't look um good or they feel like other people don't feel like they look good enough it doesn't really affect me anymore but it used to when i was a bit younger i used to be all about wanting to look like that and also now because I have a scar down my back at the start I was like now I'm gonna have this scar I'm never gonna like show off my back and stuff but now I'm wearing like like stuff that shows off my back like I just embrace my scar and my mum's always like embrace it because it's like it's your journey you know you've been, you've gone through that you've gone through that like year without playing sports six hours of surgery like you've done that that's something to be proud of so that's what I I even I had formal the other week and I was wearing a backless dress like I did not care I was and my hair like I brought it out of my back so you could see it and I'm happy with how I am at the moment so it's just yeah just dealing with it you know and just learning to actually love what I look like because this is what I'm going to be so I'm pretty happy with like how how I am I've sort of taught myself to be happy with how I look yeah.